What a time to be at Kauffman Stadium. The winning ways have certainly returned and looking for a sweep with a couple of very talented lefties on the hill. That's what you want to do as a hitter. You want to go against the best and you want to try to if you got to, if you want to be one of the better ones, you got to go against the best. So it's a lot of fun just to kind of compete against there and then seeing Cole go up against him, it's going to be a lot of fun. Cole Reagans, who is making his 11th start of the year, always exciting to watch the Royals starter. Okay, and it's Reagans today, but all five of them have something to bring and a chance to win a game every single time they do the slap. Sandy Ibanez to lead off against Reagans. And Reagans' first pitch is popped up. Bobby Wood Jr. is there. One pitch, one away. Fastball. Reagans comes back from three and one. Okay, look, why not? When you have a fastball like that and it's early, first time through the order, why not challenge them? See what they do with it. And the 2 2 pitch with two out. Fastball up, swung on and missed. So Reagans' fastball is jumping. Back to back strikeouts with that pitch, and the Tigers go down. One, two, three. The starting pitcher for the Tigers is Tarek Skubal with that 180 earned run average. Yeah, Tarek's trying to become just the first Tiger since Max Scherzer with seven consecutive starts or six or more innings and allowing two, two earned runs or fewer. And he throws that pitch wow. like it's strike three. It was. And there is one away. It's a slider to Garcia who was all out of sorts and one down to Bobby Witt Jr. An automatic damage piece yesterday for the Royals two home runs six knocked in third base sider Shella stabs it and takes a hit away from Bobby Witt Jr. Breaking out the curveball right here so Bobby Witt Jr. says I'm not showing everything that fastball again or that changeup surprises a little bit but you are Shella with a fine play over there to rob Bobby Witt Jr. of a base hit. And pops it up down the left field line. That's a long run for everybody. Javi Baez, though, will take charge, make the catch running into foul territory. Shallow left field. Pasquantino pops out. We head to the second scoreless in KC. Pretty good battle there between Reagans and Green. And Reagans now four up, four down, and deals with Urshela. Reagan strikes out his third. All three have been with his fastball and two down in the second. When you come in like that, now both of these lefties, they'll come inside too. And that opens up the outer half of the plate. And he got him with a changeup. Down goes Turkelson. Down go the Tigers. Strike three. High fastball. Off the changeup. And one gone. Salvi becomes strikeout victim number two. And for Scooble, that was his ninth walk. And this, his tenth start. And only one of his previous eight have come around to score. So now it's Freddie Fermin. There is quite a spike in production when he gets a start. And he's hit in six straight as a starter. Oh, hit well. Left center field and deep. Back it goes off the top of the wall. And Velasquez read it well. He will score easily. Ready for me and extends his hitting streak. And the Royals lead 1 0. Oh, third double of the season for the Furminator. And that's a ringing double. You could tell by the sound that that ball was great. And there are people standing and cheering. You could almost feel the tension just break the way both of these pitchers have dominated over the course of the season and especially early today. And it's Tarek Skubal who blinks first. Blanco strikes out in the changeup away. Brings up Garrett Hampson. Hampson playing second base today. Another 3 2 pitch in the inning, and Hampson gets into one in the left field. Late read by Green, and that's over his head. Fermin and Hampson come up with RBI doubles and the Royals lead 2-0. And you could tell the entire at bat that Hampson's intention was to be aggressive, knowing that Scooper was going to be in the strike zone. Now, Hampson hasn't produced a ton so far this season. That's just his fourth RBI, but he certainly picked a big spot and a good spot to contribute. Reagans has faced seven and struck out five. And you locate a fastball like that at 97 on the outside part of the plate. Keith, you got to go. Swung on and missed, strike three. There's the changeup. Baez chased it. That is six Ks for Reagans. And two outs in the top of the third. And so Reagans allows his first base runner today a two out walk to the number nine hitter. The lineup turns over 
for Andy Ibanez. Swung on and missed, strike three. Slider down and in. Cole Reagans strikes out three in the third. He's struck out seven of the first ten batters he's faced. So Reagans issues a leadoff walk. His second walk of the afternoon. Canna strikes out for a second time, and that's eight for Reagans in three and a third innings. So this is bonus time for the Tigers. Without the air, the inning is over. But instead, Torkelson comes to the plate with two on and two out. And a ground ball to Garcia, who makes a nice play, and he picks up Reagans and Vinny. And it's a scoreless fourth inning for Reagan. Man, it's really tough to sneak a ball between those two fielders. They're awesome. Velasquez scored the game's first run back in the second inning. Fastball hit high in the air, deep to left center field. Nelson Velasquez sends it up and out. A solo home run into the fountain seats in left center. And the Royals lead 3-0 in the bottom of the fourth inning. Nelson Velasquez had not hit a home run at Kauffman Stadium since early April and he makes up for well, that drought with a 430 foot blast 110 miles an hour off the bat and it's just the fourth home run that Scoobles allowed all season Nelson Velasquez has been his kryptonite today and that's a gift for Cole Reagans a first pitch out so Cole is at 75 right now through four and two thirds Rogers drew a two out walk his first time up call third strike. So that is five hitless innings with nine strikeouts. The Royals lead three nothing. Smoking. Little looper that drops in and make it a ten game hit streak for Michael Garcia with one out. The batter is Bobby Witt Jr. Bobby is lined out hard to third and he has reached on an error by the third baseman Gio Urshela. And Bobby pokes it into right field for a hit. Michael is on his way to third. And the throw will be cut off and then a snap throw back to first. And there's runners at first and third with one out for Vinny Pasquantino. And now Chris Fetter, their longtime pitching coach, out for a visit with speed on the bases now and Vinny Pasquantino coming up. And a swing and a little looper drops for a hit into right field. Here comes Garcia to score from third. Bobby will stop at second base. And Vinny. Got down to the count 0 2, but he comes back to drive in a run, and it's a 4 0 KC lead. You love to see the emotion from Vinny Pasquantino, too. Halfway up the first baseline, he flung the bat toward the Royals' dugout, gave him a look, gave him a yell. He's fired up. So are the Royals. They've taken it to the Tigers' ace today. 95 mile an hour fastball for Reagans. He's struck out 10 this afternoon. Second time he's walked Beerling. This time he walks him on four pitches. And now he faces Mark Canna. Struck him out for a third time. 97. And Cole Reagans has tied his career high with 11 strikeouts. Can't make contact today. Riley's made contact both times today. A fly out and a fielder's choice. He stayed on that slider too. He did not. He saw that all the way. Kept his front side in. He reaches out and loops it, it to left field. That's a base hit. Left on left, Riley Green has the first hit of the day for the Tigers. And the fans acknowledge Reagans going five and two thirds before giving up a hit. Well, even though the no hitter's gone, Matt Quatrero might be breathing a bit of a sigh of relief. Reagans is now at 96 pitches, and it becomes a whole lot easier to go to the bullpen after this inning is over rather than if the no hitter had still been intact. Now, runners on first and second. And two outs. Gio Urshela is the batter. Swung on and missed. Strike three. Cole Reagans dials up a 96 mile an hour fastball. He sets a new career high with 12 strikeouts. He gets a standing ovation at Kauffman Stadium. Cole Reagans, cold blooded. Base hit for Rodgers. Second hit for the Tigers today. And let's see here if Andy Ibanez can do some damage. Ibanez in the air left field. Velasquez back at the track. He's not going to make the catch. It bangs off the wall. Here comes Keith. Here comes Rogers. This is a 4-2 ball game. The Tigers are right back in it. Andy Ibanez comes through. 
Pitch out over the plate. We know how Andy Abanez crushes left-handed hitters. You can see him staying back and hitting right out there where the Royals were doing business earlier in the game and gets us right back into the game, 4-2. to two. A two-for-four game for Michael Garcia. The Royals have runners on the corners with one out for Bobby Witt Jr. There goes Garcia, and the pitch is low. Rodgers will not throw. So that takes away the possibility of a ground ball and a double play, which is unlikely with Bobby Wood Jr. at the plate. And now there are two in scoring position for Bobby Wood Jr., and the Tigers bring their infield in. Fastball laced up the middle, base hit into center field. Frazier's in to score. Garcia races around third. Witt hustles to second. He dives in safely ahead of the throw with a two-run double. The Royals re-extend their lead. It's six to two in the bottom of the seventh inning. Bobby Witt Jr. comes through with two runners in scoring position. And he took off out of the box looking for extra bases. Now it's Freddie Fermin who has a chance to break this game open. Base is loaded, two outs. Up the middle and pass Baez. Junior scores. Salvi scores. And it's a four-run bottom of the seventh. Second hit for the Furminator. Outstanding job sneaking it by Baez at shortstop. The Royals offense can always smell blood. And they have got in for the kill. Nice job. Cold Keith, eighth pitch against a tough lefty. Ground ball single into right. Brings up Javi Baez, two on, two out. First base side, that trickles by past Quintino. Javi Baez drives in a run. The throw into third is not in time. Renfro uncorked a catapult from right, and it's eight to three. And there is out number two. He's the last hope for the Tigers. Represents the last out for the Royals. Riley Green is one out of four. He singled back in the sixth inning. Grounded to Vinny. The Royals go 6 0 on the homestand. They have won 10 of their last 13 games, and they improved to 21 and 8 at Kauffman Stadium. That's the best record at home in the American League. Way to go, fellas.